Hi, so today we're making uh, lamb moussaka. Um, so we're going to need uh, 400 grams of ground lamb, two aubergines, a tin of chopped tomatoes, um, a stick of celery, three cloves of garlic, one onion, about 200 grams of potatoes, waxy potatoes. And spice wise, we're using paprika, cinnamon, and cumin, a bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. And the topping is going to be uh, one litre of Greek yogurt, three eggs, and a little grind of grated nutmeg. Okay. Okay, so in this pan, I've sweated off some celery, onion, and garlic. In this pan, I've browned the lamb in, so it's just starting to colour golden brown. I'm going to add this to the pan. I'm going to add my spices, so we've got a teaspoon each of cumin, paprika, and cinnamon, and about half a teaspoon of oregano that I didn't mention before. That all goes in. Give it a stir around. everything's coated I'm going to add just over half a tin of tomatoes to that and I'm going to add about 150ml of water and we're going to simmer that for about 40 minutes now until the lamb's done pinch of salt. Okay. So while the lamb mixture is simmering, fry off some aubergines and put them aside on a plate and parboil some potatoes and slices. So you're going to make the topping now. Yeah. So we've got a litre of Greek yogurt pinch of salt, three eggs whisked, mm -hmm. a little grate of uh, nutmeg. I always drop the nutmeg into the mixture, but you're a professional. And then just mix all that together. That's ready to pour over your moussaka. Yeah. When it's layered up yeah. and it'll set. It's cooked. So I've started layering up. We've got a layer of potatoes on the bottom, layer of meat, layer of aubergine, layer of meat, a few more potatoes on top, uh, and finish off with the rest of the meat. And, and then finally, we'll have a layer of aubergine. And if you want it to be Turkish, put a layer of sliced tomatoes on the top instead of the bechamel sauce, which is traditional. You want it to be Greek. I use either the vegetable sauce or the yogurt and whisk eggs with nutmeg, which gives it a really nice tang. So we've got our topping on and I've just scattered a little bit of feta cheese over the top too. I'm going to whack this in the oven now. It's 160 and it's going to go in there for around about 50 minutes to an hour until it's brown on top. Maybe a bit shorter or a little bit longer. Just keep checking it um, after 40 minutes. How long has it had, Buzz? So, after 40 minutes, I came back and had a look and it needed a bit of browning. So I turned the oven up to 200 degrees and gave it another 20 minutes. And that's cooked perfectly. Mm. So now we're going to turn the oven off and just leave it to rest for 20 minutes or so before we serve it.